times and it's uh, so let me quickly share with you a uh, few thoughts i have put together on this uh, the I come from um, a TIFR Center for Applicable Mathematics, and uh, as we saw in the morning, very depressing figures. Uh, not many to women come to mathematics, which is still true in our center. Uh, there is I'm the only one faculty so far, and uh, I hardly ever find uh, female students. So it's uh, it has been continuing for so many years, and we have to do something about it. So we are in the so let me put together something. So how, how do I go up? Yeah. So what are the questions? Let us try to understand the questions first. Uh, before that, uh, is this the? Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, it's not just enough to attract the girls to mathematics. There are the girls are really interested in a scientific career. It's not enough, but we have to sustain their interest. It's so it's not only to attract as well as to sustain the interest of the young uh, girls in scientific careers. Now the scientific, the career choices of the girls are influenced by not the society, the family, the friends and the school atmosphere. So everything, so we have to take, uh, we have to sensitize all the players involved. It's not enough we just educate the girl and then we tell her you go for science career. If the family is telling her, no, 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 you are not good for that. It's not going to happen. So we have to involve everyone else. So that is one point uh, I realized. Even though they are attracted to scientific careers, the girls give up very easily. So they need a very conducive atmosphere to really supportive and uh, encouraging atmosphere. They are quite uh, vulnerable. So the other points we have to remember is, we need to sustain the interest in scientific careers in the girls. They often lack, uh, I often find a lack of confidence in girls. It's uh, probably cultural uh, where I come from in India. It's very common. Uh, girls are told to keep quiet and not to protest. And I don't know about the French culture, but uh, I do find uh, lack of confidence is an issue uh, with many of the girls, especially in mathematics. So they get, uh, uh, they get sort of scared whether I'm capable of, am I capable of doing that? That question comes up first. And uh, either because of that or they are outnumbered, they are always isolated in schools and colleges. Now this uh, builds up, it becomes a vicious circle and so they are further they get discouragement from peers and teachers. Teachers may not be uh, really meaning to do that, but they may just not be uh, proactively encouraging. So that can also put down the, the girls uh, a lot. And of course, because of all this isolation, there is a lack of awareness of career options, and they don't have uh, interaction, enough interaction with mentors and role models. And above all, I find that uh, the whole thing is related to the status of women in the society. So they see women everywhere in uh, important positions that's going to influence them in their decisions also. And above all, of course, as I said, uh, the family pressures are also playing a role. So keeping all this in mind, we have to devise some strategies. So some of the things that uh, we, many of us uh, mentioned and also we have been doing, that is you can do meetings and workshops in schools as well as colleges to introduce career options and role models to girls. Now this is a very limited, uh, so it only reaches out to some maybe 30, 40, 50 girls. It's not enough, but it is something. At least it's, it's a starting point. And uh, these are done regularly by EWM, European Women in Mathematics, IWM, which is uh, following the EWM patterns. This is Indian Women in Mathematics, where I am involved in the Executive uh, Council. So where we are planning out various activities. And F and S, that is uh, Farm et Science in France, where uh, they do a lot of activities, which I, we heard in the morning. Uh, they have such regular activities. For example, in the Indian Women in Mathematics, we keep uh, regional meetings. We try to do it in rural areas where 
people have very less exposure so the student the but this is at the college level or university level so we couldn't really reach to schools yet because we need as i will point out we need more and more people manpower or women power so annual conferences and uh, we also invite uh, successful women mathematicians to a few selected institutions for lectures after the lectures we invite all the audience uh, boys and girls to interact with them to understand how it is in the scientific career now ewm the european women in mathematics they also have a scientific committee to suggest women speakers for ems meetings so this could be uh, because in most of the indian mathematical conferences the number of women invitees uh, or plenary speakers will be abysmally low i don't know how it is in the european meetings but uh, this uh, has to be addressed because there must be some visibility for women doing good work because they get to be ignored they have to come out and so that this could be a way of introducing them in the conferences in the organizing committees in the as a plenary speaker or as an invited speaker etc and uh, very important i find we have to involve the parents the parents have to be also told about the they have to be aware of the career choices for girls for boys and so this is very important and uh, we one way is we can bring out printed stories and books highlighting women scientists how women can also do science and be successful one of this i want to mention rohini godbole and ram ram swami have edited this volume on leelavathi's daughters she showed in the morning this was uh, they had put together some 200 uh, current uh, scientists from in current modern india and that had a law very lasting influence the book is still there and so people keep reading and many people come and uh, ask me oh this is really possible like so that this is uh, this will reach more audience because it's a long lasting one there are also possibilities short films and uh, video clips for diffusion among schools universities and for also general public because the general public has to also accept the role of women as scientists that is also very important we have to promote that idea in particular in icm the international uh, congress of mathematicians in 2018 in rio uh, a small uh, video film was brought out in this three women mathematician stories their journey through mathematics how they started one was from india one from uh, one african country one from brazil how they started off from very um, ordinary background without knowing anything about mathematics how they came into mathematics how they are successful today this was very encouraging and this was brought out and it has of course been uploaded in the in the website of um, icm 2018 so the similar things they will have a lasting effect and uh, it will reach wider audience and stories of successful women scientist in social media and television for example recently emmy nothas theorems centenary celebration was celebrated brought out in nature and it was widely diffused it's such an in- important uh, thing and this reading will give a motivation for many of the young girls i think some more suggestions of course it's very important to have regular sessions in different regions and different schools as well as in public forums but then this demands a lot of work and as we saw a little bit before that uh, we have to shoulder our responsibility as scientists as uh, parents as uh, in the house also we have to bring up our children so it's it needs a lot of effort on and there are so few women and uh, so we have to also involve men men have to participate it has to be done equally by both men and women because it's for the sake of science we have to bring variety into science and that is very important and uh, and also it gives credibility to have men also be involved in the whole uh, uh, whole organization of such activities 
and uh, we have to show when we showcase one possibility is we have to bring women not only from academics also from industry from various uh, corporate heads and uh, different sectors and how they have also uh, gone along their career paths this will also be a good interaction for uh, going through this um, i don't know what i did uh, <laughs> Ah, yeah, it came back. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so this is one thing, but uh, what I forgot to mention earlier was the lack of confidence in girls. Um, my own students, the girls will, when I tell them there is such and such a conference, go and put up a poster, they will say no. Or the boys will come up, they'll be all uh, uh, active and enthusiastic, but the girls will stay behind. But with a little bit of nudging and encouragement, they came out and they were very good. They put up very good. Uh, so it is very important that uh, the that I had put up the slide, uh, but I forget uh, where it was. The teachers and it's very important that uh, yeah. See, it's very important that the teachers and um, the schools will ha also have to be, uh, yeah, here it is, institutional measures. I forgot this slide. The schools and teachers have to be sensitized. So if there is a little bit of nudging and encouragement from the schools and teachers for the girls, it will go a long way. They can also shine very well. And the mentors and counselors in schools also have to be sensitized. They have to encourage uh, the youngsters, both girls and boys. It has to be very um, equal in everything. But the girls will need a little bit extra. That, that's what my experience shows and institutions and government may be able to take some positive affirmative actions towards this goal and uh, this uh, of course uh, these people um, the next few speakers are going to talk about this so I will leave it to them and it's very important to add uh, include more women in important academic administrative posts that will also go a long way like um, you told just now that's very important to have women in uh, all the committees so that their viewpoint is also heard so let me stop here thank you, thank you.